every anti-Trump lib in America is losing it over what's now showing up on their $20 bills. For eight years we dealt with a president who us as conservatives didn't want and definitely vote for either time, but we made it through two terms and now we're enjoying what it's like to have a real leader in the White House. It doesn't seem like the anti-Trump left will be able to make it through the next few months at the rate of which they are triggered and seemingly losing their sanity at everything President Donald Trump does. However, if there's one thing that will likely be the final straw it's what they will now see on their $20 bills. It's perfectly played that the president who is responsible for a major increase in the economy translates to more money in people's pockets, gets some recognition on our currency. Whether liberals want to admit it or not, he's our president and their president too, and they have probably personally benefited from his improvements in the economy and bringing more jobs back. Now, they will get to be reminded of it in bold red ink and it couldn't be better. The $20 bill has a picture of the White House on the back which is a reminder of the structure of our country, but also who is running it. Thankfully, that person is President Trump who has single-handedly been responsible for putting more $20s and bigger bills in people's wallets with job creation and bolstering the middle class 401k. Impressively, that's even after coming out of the negative that his predecessor put the country in and coming out more than on top. A preliminary sneak peek at the current third quarter GDP by the Atlanta Federal Reserve Bank, estimates an even brisker 3.4% growth, the Washington Times reported. Now, liberals will be seeing red in more ways than just the constant glow of the GOP presidency winning. Liberals burn through money quicker than anyone else which is how Trump inherited the bad economy in the first place, but now they might be burning $20 bills in protest. A new trend is going around thanks to a clever individual with a stamp who is branding every $20 they get with red and that says, Donald Trump lives here and an arrow pointing to the White House on the back of the bill. That's likely to trigger the most delicate snowflake who likes to pretend that's not the case and all efforts to remove him from the people's house have failed. He's still there, still winning, and making America great. Anyone noticed through the fog of Russia, Comey, Charlottesville, and now two monster hurricanes that the U.S. economy is booming faster than any time since the late Clinton years? The Washington Post article last ahead of reported the undeniable golden touch Trump and his administration have had on our economy. It is undeniable. And the pace of improvement is quickening. In the last year of the Obama administration, the economy was decelerating with a dismal 1.6% growth rate. The economy revved up to a 3% growth rate in the April to June second quarter this year, which is a nice bounce but still not a great number. It's easy to read too much into short-term trends and, yes, they can turn on a dime. But the new bounce in the step of the economy is confirmed by many other indicators, almost all of which point straight north. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up over 3,000 points starting with a 700-point rally the day after the election. These aren't alternative facts, a phrase coined by the hateful left when truth they don't like smacks them in the face and stings a little. This is reality as described by one of their own typically liberal sources who couldn't help but bore the Trump train into a bright financial future we've waited eight years to see. The Washington Times reports. In August the University of Michigan, which tracks consumer sentiment, reported that confidence soared to near its highest level in at least a decade. Other surveys by the MFIB and the National Association of Manufacturers find that confidence for their members is hovering at near record highs. You hear these same sentiments anecdotally from employers. Everywhere I go I ask CEOs, how is business? The answer is almost always one of two words, good or great. Optimism abounds. One construction executive told me recently, it was like on election day a light switch was flicked on and our business started improving and it hasn't stopped. This is also reflected in nearly 200,000 monthly job growth and an unemployment rate, even the more meaningful broadest measure of joblessness that includes people who have dropped out of the workforce, that is falling, falling, falling. The rate of job growth for black Americans is nearly 50% higher than the monthly average under President Obama.
it's only appropriate that Trump at least get this kind of stamp of approval on American currency for his incredible work in our previously defunct economy. Now, he deserves the honor of being printed onto some form of American currency that he had a hand in creating more of, in more of.